McGill Connect, I was introduced to this global network of McGill alumni who I had something in common with. Ma participation euh, au sein du club cycliste de McGill, je pense que on est une super belle gang, puis euh, encore aujourd'hui, on voit des anciens, des jeunes euh, qui sont étudiants, puis on fait des sorties ensemble, on partage une passion. Donc, bonne chance à tous, je vous souhaite euh, du succès, du succès dans, dans, dans vos projets futurs. Je pense que vous êtes passé à travers une institution qui vous permet d'avoir accès à tout ce que vous voulez. Donc, euh, have fun, enjoy the ride, and, and, and be patient. Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. My name is Michael Meehan, and as Chancellor of McGill University, I'm very proud to join you for this unique convocation ceremony. Let me begin by recognizing that McGill University is on land which long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst indigenous peoples, including the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe nations. We acknowledge and thank these diverse indigenous people whose presence has enriched this territory on which peoples of the world now gather. Chers diplômés, familles et amis, au nom de l'Université McGill, je vous souhaite la bienvenue à cette célébration des réalisations de nos diplômés de la promotion 2020. Sadly, we'll not have the chance to get together on campus to enjoy this moment in person. I know how disappointing this is for you, and it's disappointing for me not to have the chance to congratulate you in person on your accomplishments. We're all living lives constrained by the impact of coronavirus. Our focus tends to be on the things that we cannot do, the friends we cannot meet, the places we cannot go, and the events we cannot attend. But graduates like you remind me of all the things we can do. Everywhere I look, I see McGill students and graduates applying their creativity and energy in diverse ways. They're providing grocery services and meals for healthcare workers, volunteering at hospitals and care facilities, sharing their music and creative talents, supporting research into vaccines and treatments, innovating technology to track the virus, raising funds for workers in need, and much, much more. Votre réussite, cher diplômé, nous donne à tous une bonne raison de nous réjouir en 2020. No matter where you are, this is a great day for you and for McGill. It's a day which recognizes all your hard work, commitment, sacrifice and success. And that's something that started well before the pandemic and will endure much longer. Every graduate keeps with them a memory of their graduation. Yours will certainly be different but it will also be unique in the history of McGill and a memento of great achievement in a time of great adversity. Félicitations à tous et chacun d'entre vous. Bienvenue à tous nos finissants de 2020 et félicitations. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and welcome to you, to your family and friends who've joined you to celebrate your achievements. Convocation is a natural time to reflect on your journey and what a journey you've had. Of course, you always expect bumps and hurdles in any journey, but you had to face one of the biggest health crises the world has ever seen. You met the challenges of COVID-19 with the same strength and resilience that brought you here today. We all wish that we could have a GPS to guide us through the many twists and turns of life, particularly in a storm like the COVID one. Of course, there's no such tool, but we do have some good headlights to help us not lose our way. Ces phares sont très souvent des personnes inspirantes qui guide nos décisions et nos actions dans la vie. 
j'aimerais mentionner quelques-uns des guides que j'ai croisés à McGill. A particularly bright light at McGill is neurology professor Brenda Milner. Brenda is 101 years old and certainly knows a lot about adapting to a world that presents unanticipated challenges. Her motto through her very accomplished life, don't be afraid of change and keep a sense of humor. And from Professor Charles Taylor, who's been called one of the world's greatest thinkers, when reflecting on the growing inequalities in the world, made even more obvious in this pandemic, share the following thought. Is it too much to hope we might react when the pandemic is over, not just with relief, but with a determination to address these inadequacies? The optimist in me thinks there is a good chance we can rise to the occasion. You graduates of the class of 2020 know what it means to rise to the occasion. And with all you've learned in reaching this important milestone, do bring along with you the confidence that you've gained, that when you're called again to rise to the occasion, either for yourself for your community or for all the people in the world who face inequities. You'll be there. You can do it. You have what it takes to be headlights in our world. Amélie Fabian is a Rwandan refugee who recently graduated from McGill. She said, when you're a refugee, the feeling that never leaves you is that you've lost everything. But when it comes to education, it's not something they can take away from you. Today, you join a global network of McGill graduates who will be celebrating with us next year the 200th anniversary of our university. I hope that you'll come back to your alma mater. We're preparing very special in-person convocations for you. Until then, félicitations à tous. Congratulations to all. I now have the great pleasure and honor of introducing two very special speakers. D'abord, Monsieur François Legault, Premier ministre du Québec, vous adressera quelques mots de félicitations. It will be followed by Mr. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada and a McGill alumnus, who will also address McGill's graduating class of 2020. I want to thank our Premier and Prime Minister for their generous contribution to today's virtual convocation ceremony. Bonjour tout le monde. Je veux souhaiter une excellente collation des grades virtuels à tous les finissants de l'Université McGill. Et surtout, je veux vous féliciter pour vos efforts. Vous avez Travaillez fort pour vous rendre là. Vous avez de quoi être fier de vous autres. Bravo. Je veux aussi vous remercier pour tout ce que vous faites pour nous aider à combattre le virus. Je sais que c'est pas comme ça que vous avez imaginé ce moment-là. Donc, merci pour votre compréhension. Merci pour votre résilience. I want to wish a good graduating ceremony to all our students from McGill, and I want to applaud you for all the efforts you've made to get to this point. You've all worked hard to make it here. You can be proud of yourselves. Congratulations. I also want to thank you all for your diligence to help us fight the virus. I know this is not how you imagine this moment or this year. We do not decide of the challenges we face, but we do get to choose in what way we respond to those challenges. And I'm proud of all how Quebecers have responded to the challenge we face. We'll need this determination of yours in the coming years. We will need young researchers, young entrepreneurs, young workers, in healthcare, in technology, and in a lot of other domains. So don't be afraid, be bold, be ambitious. We'll need your and your audacity to get through this crisis and to build a better future together. Thank you, merci, bonne cérémonie tout le monde. 
Hello, everyone. Bonjour à tous, and congratulations to the class of 2020. It wasn't too long ago that I was in your shoes, and I remember how it felt to finally get to this moment. Because behind this moment are many sleepless nights cramming for midterms at the McLennan, lots of coffee, and plenty of classes. But you've made it. It's an exciting day that you've been looking forward to since you first walked onto campus, and I know your family and friends are so proud of you. And while we may not be celebrating on Lower Field this year, I'm glad we still get a chance to come together and recognize this incredible achievement. For almost 200 years, McGill has stood as a beacon of excellence, bringing together some of the best and brightest minds in the world. That same standard of excellence is found in this group graduating today. Your class is filled with passionate people who are always willing to learn, who are eager to give back, and who strive to make this country and this world a better place. Que vous ayez étudié les arts, la médecine, l'administration ou les sciences, je sais que vous êtes prêts pour ce nouveau chapitre. Mais vous finissez vos études alors que l'on traverse une période de grands changements et ça crée beaucoup d'incertitudes. On fait face à une pandémie mondiale et au même moment, les gens au pays et à travers le monde se mobilisent pour dénoncer le racisme, la discrimination et la brutalité policière. Ce qu'on réalise, c'est qu'on a besoin de gens qui n'ont pas peur de changer nos façons de faire pour bâtir un avenir meilleur, des gens comme vous. As a McGillian, you're a proud product of years of perseverance and sacrifice. You've overcome so much and worked so hard, and it's made you who you are today. And now this is your moment. This is your time. We need your passion and your tenacity to lead us forward. So as you begin on this new chapter, take a moment to reflect on the journey that led you here. Remember how this moment feels and enjoy every minute of it. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Encore une fois, félicitations. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our virtual convocation speaker, a member of McGill's Faculty of Medicine class of 2018, Dr. Laurent Duvernier-Tardif has seen both sides of celebration and hardship. Je sais que ces paroles seront une source d'inspiration pour tous les finissants de 2020. Hi, my name is Laurent Duvernier-Tardif. It's really a pleasure for me to be here today. But it's kind of weird at the same time, because two years ago, I was in your shoes. And you can say that a lot have happened over the last two years with the Super Bowl run and everything. But at the end of the day, I'm not even 30. So I don't know exactly what can I say in terms of advice and everything. But what I do know is that stepping on that stage in front of my parents and my family, after combining for the past eight years my pro football career with my medical study was by far one of my biggest accomplishments. And it was, to some extent, the first moment where I was actually really proud of myself. Cet accomplissement-là aurait pas été possible sans le support de la faculté de médecine de McGill, sans le support du vice-doyen à l'époque, M. Dr. Primavesi, qui m'a aidé à combiner mes deux passions pour le sport et pour la médecine au plus haut niveau, en accommodant mon horaire, en permettant de reporter mes examens et en permettant de faire mon curriculum de quatre ans en huit ans pour enfin graduer en mai 2018 dernier. S'il y a une chose que McGill m'a appris, c'est que c'était possible d'accomplir des grandes choses, puis qu'il fallait pas avoir peur de rêver, puis avoir de l'ambition pour nos propres projets. So my point to you is that you deserve that celebration. You deserve to enjoy that moment with your friends and family, and you can't. But at the end of the day, I feel like we still got to realize how privileged we are, because we got a degree from one of the top universities in the country, and even though we're not able to appreciate that moment right now, nobody's going to be able to take it from us. I know right now there are a lot of uncertainties. Is the job market going to be the same? What's going to be the new normal? But I think right now, during those difficult times, we got to look at what's certain. And what's certain is that you do have a diploma from one of the top universities in the country, and you work hard for it. And no matter what happens, nobody's going to be able to take it away from you. And you're going to be okay. Aujourd'hui, c'est le temps de célébrer avec votre famille, avec vos proches. Puis demain, c'est le temps de retourner au travail. So take the time to celebrate with your family and friends. Enjoy the moment, and tomorrow, let's get right back at it with even more grits and vision. Because we have a responsibility towards society, and right now, more than ever, society needs us. Congratulations, 
and good job. Hello, everybody. As we celebrate your graduation today, I hope you take a moment to look back on your achievements over your time at McGill. Perhaps you're thankful you have no more grades to worry about and no exams to study for and no electives to choose. But as a comedian John Stewart once said, the unfortunate yet truly exciting thing about your life from this point is that there is no core curriculum. Everything from here is an elective. So I wish you the best of success and happiness as you take the next step on an uncertain path that will bring you personal and professional fulfillment. On behalf of the Faculty of Engineering, congratulations to you all. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. I wish you all the best. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations and best wishes for your next adventure. Congratulations to the graduates of 2020. Congratulations. Bravo à tous nos finissants. My name is Professor Christopher Manfredi, Provost and Vice Principal Academic at McGill University. My role in the virtual convocation is to confer the degrees, and I'm happy to do that this morning. By virtue of the powers conferred upon me by McGill Senate, I declare that the candidates whose names appear on the university's official list of graduates have satisfied the requirements for their respective degrees, diplomas, or certificates. En vertu des pouvoirs qui me sont conférés par le Sénat de McGill, je déclare que les candidats dont le nom figure sur la liste officielle des diplômés de l'université ont satisfait aux exigences de leur grade, diplômé ou certificat respectif. Congratulations, class of 2020. Félicitations.
Graduates, honored guests, families, and friends, I have one very important duty remaining before we bring our ceremony to a close. In my capacity as Chancellor of McGill University, I declare and confirm that each of you is now entitled to the distinction of the degree, diploma, or certificate that has been conferred upon you with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities that are pertinent thereto. À titre de chancelier de l'Université McGill, je déclare et confirme que chacun de vous a maintenant le droit à la distinction de grade, diplôme ou certificat qui vous a été conféré avec tous les honneurs, droits, privilèges et responsabilités qui y sont rattachés. Congratulations to each and every one of you. This concludes our virtual convocation ceremony. I look forward to seeing you back on campus for our in-person ceremonies in the spring of 2021. At that time, I hope we'll be able to gather together safely to celebrate your accomplishments. Till then, do stay in touch as you begin your journey as a McGill graduate. Because wherever you go in the world, McGill will always be your home and we will always cheer your successes and accomplishments. Merci et bonne chance.